Sub Zero here, diving back into Planet Crafters. We made a lot of progress last time with uh, finding the aluminum fields, the super alloys, even the underground cavern uh, bases where there was another survivor. Uh, don't know where they went to. We'll try and figure that out. But meanwhile, we got to keep looking for that uh, uranium, change out our nuclear reactors to the tier two ones. We've got a lot to do and we don't have time to wait. So here we go. So the trick with the reactors is a single nuclear reactor takes a uranium rod and gives 86 and a half energy. A tier 2 nu nuclear reactor takes three uranium rods but gives over 300. So if I just deconstruct a typical nuclear reactor, I get super alloy and water and I use super alloy and water to make a tier 2. I think you can kind of see where we're going. All I have to do is craft the explosive powder and we can turn three nuclear reactors into one more powerful one. And I also wanted to try to do something here. I figure it's time that I finally built some stairs. So I'll need to grab some iron specifically for that. Yeah, we'll just grab a few. We'll try it here at the end. Yes, that is floating. It's fine. Don't worry about it right now. Uh, no, I think it's got to be best to just deconstruct this and build it from the ground. drops a little as I get closer, but it's floating. Is that good enough? It's a little hard to see with uh, the scope. Nope, not enough. Hmm. Okay, so I can get up on that. So now... That looks like it should work. There we go. Relatively simple. Up on top, and I can still run around beneath it. I need the rockets, uh, the jetpack for it, but you know, it works. Um, how much energy do we have? Oh, 383. Yeah, so we could dismantle the nuclear reactors without an issue. Um, Just get rid of the iron here, so make sure we have space for everything. And we need to make the explosive powder. That should be, what was it, sulfur and 
iridium. Pretty simple. I got a good amount of both of them, so we can make a few. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, so now iridium. And that's just to make sure I don't run out. Hey, Jen. Um, sorry, got a bit distracted here. Um, and peachy with getting my stairs set up and now I'm ready for the nuclear reactors so watch this I got a plan I'm so excited for this I've checked my power levels I can go over here to my nuclear reactor selection and I want to be careful just to take three down at a time. <laughs> Who needs stairs? I could just do that from the launch pad. So I'm on top of the base now. So you know, this is where you want to keep your radi radiation. Make sure it's uh, nice and safe. <laughs> it's not going to flood up here. Uh, and I got all this super alloy and water back. Hey, yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks, Peachy, for stopping in. Um, I know it's a little late for you. I really appreciate it. Uh, and sorry I was late to respond. I just really want to make sure I got the resources correct for that because I didn't want to put the, the grid offline here. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a, a good day. Well, evening. And if you need to reach out for anything, just let me know. And yes, I have a jet pack, which is what you're hearing there. This is regular speed. Actually, this is walking speed. This is running. And this is jet pack speed. So it's significantly faster. And I have a spare uh, nuclear reactor here. We can take that offline. Um, grab a little yum 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 oxygen. <laughs> and there's another reactor up here, good and safe. I thought I put another one somewhere else, but that's okay. We'll find it. If not, uh, I could work on the uranium rods for that. And so the other thing I realized is I had all these drills and solar panels that are kind of a waste um, in the sense that I can upgrade them without much effort. Um, one. Perfect. So now, uranium rod, uranium rod, and we have the necessary supplies. Now, this little contraption here is just what I need. Nope, come on. Jetpack. There we go. Just the boost I need to get up there. Perfect. <laughs> it's like, what did you do? Terraform the planet? No, I destroyed it. Oh, and by doing that, you know, just crafting the one rod, now I have so much power. I've doubled my power by doing that. And that was basically just deconstructing what I already had made. I am a little low on uranium now, but that's still enough for a rocket engine and to launch it up, so. Um, and I recovered all this super alloy and some water. Yum, 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 yum.
So let's see. Food. Right? Right, Jen? So much of the time moving it around. Um I actually need food, not all the seeds. There we go. So when I get hungry, I've got that. Um, and I need a stockpile of aluminum. There, that should be good. So now if I go out here, and well actually, I'll clean this up too. So I take those drills offline. Then I go over here. Oh. It's a little hard to line these up. Stop turning on me. Uh, Sure. Yeah, yeah, that kind of works. So, I basically built that just for free. Um, the other thing is the tier 3 drill gives heat and pressure. And it's like 10 times what the uh, tier 2 drill does. And so I have a bunch of these built, but I literally just decommission it. Um, and... Uh, it, it uses hardly any more energy, it's just I was out of the aluminum. And so I can decommission these all day. I could actually do one more, but you know. Whoa! What? Uh, okay, there we go. Game, you okay there? That game's fine. There we go. Nice big drill. Back over to decommissioning these tier twos. And let's make a big mess putting another giant drill here. Oh. There we go. And yeah, I know it'll upset some people. It's not lined up or, you know, whatever. And I tried. I tried. I even moved the bits around and it would not line up in the game. It would keep reorienting it. So that's on the game. Hey, yum, 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 yum. It's falling down. There's a lake. But I'm going for that. And so there should be some algae here. Ah. Just one? Okay. Well, I got one algae at least. And look it, you can see where the drills are. That's how I know I'm lining things up. And uh, we got those nuclear reactors up top. Look lovely. <laughs> and so we're so close on the lakes. And uh, the algae is a new one for me. Um, I wasn't able to harvest it last time. Uh, maybe I missed it, but even when I went underwater, I couldn't see it, but it's used for the bacterial sample, which is used for the mutagen and fertilizer and um, fertilizer tier 2 uh, with methane. So, or sorry, that's methane for the uh, mutagen, not uh, algae, but it's used for the bacterial sample and a few other things. So 
So right now I'll put that in my uh, other category here. Since I really don't have a good spot for it. Um, I have a load of uh, titanium now to clean up. Since it uses, I think it's two iron and um, two titanium, but when you deconstruct it, you get, what is it, one iron and two titanium. So I take apart two drills and I end up with excess titanium. But um, you can see how that would work for the drills. Similar idea for the solar panels, tier one solar panel, tier two, that uses um, an extra cobalt, I, uh, sorry, what is it? Uh, magnesium, sorry, it's silicon, cobalt, iron, silicon, cobalt. Yeah, magnesium and aluminum and makes a tier two. And so you get a big boost there. But right now with the nuclear reactors, um, really not needed. And I'm kind of low on cobalt. And I do have enough magnesium, but I really don't need the all the solar panels out there with the nuclear power. So we can clean that up <laughs> a little bit. There's so many of them. Um, and harvest some resources that way. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, you okay there, game? A little more space. Is that full? Yep. So, don't really need to deconstruct them per se, but it just looks a little neater. And if we want to convert to the tier two, we can. It's uh, only a three times boost in power, which sounds great, but it's 19 when going to the. Uh, um, nuclear reactor was a lot more. Now we harvest this iron and cobalt. We can use the iron for the um, drills and then we can use the cobalt for the rockets and get more uranium that way. So it is very useful. Uh, silicon. And we were low on silicon too. So it really helps give us the resources we need by deconstructing the solar panels. So it kind of all comes together there. Uh, I guess I'll drop off the explosive powder. Not in the food. Put it there. Um, so, yum, 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 yum. We're almost done with the lakes, but we found aluminum fields over here. So heading south from my base. Look at that river forming. Yeah, nice little bridge. And this is where we had aluminum. I set up a drill here because, yay, aluminum. But there was also a super ore field we found. Um, sure, we'll just empty that out for now. Uh, well, well, on the way back here, the there was an area that was very interesting with some pillars. I think it was this way. up and over here uh, 
Oh! Um, this is the space ring thing. Um, not the area I was looking for, but that's cool. Ah, yes. So, this is what I was looking for. Um, you can take it had a lot of resources and solar panels is what we got from there that's oxygen multiplier we're good and you can deconstruct solar panels from that um, and I think it was yeah I got oxygen capsules so I'm good um, Was that the area? Oh! Oh! When does that melt? Forty-five? Okay, I'll wait. But generally I've been heading south from my base um, hmm. uh, not not the area I was looking for um, I thought it was by the aluminum fields I could be mistaken but there was some pillars that were standing up this is all sand so we'll do a little exploration. Oh, um, is this it? Yeah, we'll keep going. It'll be fine, I'm sure. What could go wrong with just exploring in the middle of uh, a barren wasteland? Water to quench your thirst. Super alloy. Aluminum. Nice. Let me know when the oxygen's critical. Okay. You win. I need oxygen to survive. Nope, I'm not going to get up there. I have to go around. Ooh. Wait a second. Lake water collector? Ooh. This is not where I was, but that's the same message I started with. <laughs> but everything's offline. Ooh, they had that? Wow. Fabric. Let's get rid of this iron. Oh. There's a whole base down here. Explosive powder, uranium. Fertilizer. Yeah, let's get rid of this iron. Landing site so bad, there's no reason. Terraform this big rock, blah, blah, blah. It can't be that hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, they got all sorts of stuff here. Look at this.
Oh. Oh. I'm going to run out of resource. Run out of air or something. Where am I supposed to find more iridium on this planet? Why were I did? Uh. Yeah, I'll have to stop deconstructing things right now so I can make my way out. Yeah, because we filled that with iron. Oh, that's so cool. Doesn't work though. Everything's all busted. Oh, I gotta stock up on oxygen and find out more about that place. It's huge. Now it's a little bit of a mad rush to get back. This sand is very, very bright. Try and make the oxygen last as much as possible. Oh, is that a wreck or something? I want to explore it more. But I gotta get back. I wandered too far out into the desert. Sulfur. Osmium. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, I need to get out of here. Generally head this direction. Don't get trapped on things. Yay, jetpack. There's my base marker. Okay. So if I keep that over there, we should be doing good. Ooh, iridium rod. Not critical, but nice. No. Yay, it's not a dead end. And there's the aluminum fields. So this is the spiky things I was talking about past the aluminum fields. Not sure how I missed it. But there's wrecks here. And we'll have to get some uh, more oxygen. And uh, come back. Well, more water too. Because that was quite a trip out there.
I mean, I can see my base way off in the distance there. Like I said, when that beacon's there, and I'm heading this way, it should be uh, directionally going towards the base, but probably want to put a red marker or something there. I don't know. Sounds like a meteor storm's coming in. And we made it. Moss. We're close to moss. <laughs> so we got some aluminum. Yes, yes, I just completed lakes. That was one of the messages that popped up while I was um, in danger of, well, not returning. Oh, we got a new message. Uh, there we go. Well, Let's check out this blueprint. Agility boots tier three, nice. Hey, Riley, okay. Use ore extractors on different areas to extract specific minerals and rockets are really important and help boost your generation of, you know, whatever. Okay, yeah, I, right. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, Riley's really behind the times because like I've already got ore extractors up and and uh, I've been launching rockets like mad. Maybe they thought they those were flares or something. I don't know. Um, osmium, here we go. I think I was stashing the super alloy here, yeah. Fabric. Fabric, I haven't really seen too much of, so that's pretty rare. Um, oxygen? Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of that, the way I went out there. So that's just back to where I was. Um, too much titanium already. Magnesium. We'll drop that off. Uh, and yes, technically that goes in the food bin because it makes food, but eh. My my spacecraft, my rules. Deal with it. So there we go, we got beans, we got water. Gonna make a lot more oxygen. That should be enough for the trip. Oh, and I found two golden chests. So I had a little bit over here to go past the fields it looks like. I'm loving this game so much to explore and just the surprises like, hey, there's a base and you know, it's huge inside when I was like, oh yeah, you could deconstruct this crashed satellite. Yeah, so it's like, oh, there's a chest here. And then you're like, yum, yum, yum. Food. And then you keep going. Sorry, just a moment. <laughs> and 
And then here's another one where I got some of the stuff before. So yeah, here's the wreck that I was intending to find. And this is the spike landscape I was talking about. So you can head back here and grab some more stuff, food, whatever. And there was solar panels um, here. You can deconstruct that and make a tier two solar panel right there. And There's also a chest back there. I'm not entirely sure how I made that, but you know, we'll just go with it. Um, okay, that works. Uh, I thought there was a hole in one of the walls here. Oh, there was some ice there. Oh, is this the... Is that the entrance to the Iridium Cave? No, that's just... a spot. Yeah, but there was that Iridium Cave back here, but I think there was also... Oh, I'm looking through the wall there. Nope. Oh. oh, this. Oh, gold chest. That's fantastic. It's golden seed, 600% boost. Uranium, super alloy, and if you deconstruct it, you get a super alloy and aluminum. I'm looking for holes and crevices like this and then run into a gold chest. <laughs> oh, was this it? Yes, osmium, sulfur. Look at all the seeds. Iridium rod, bioplastic nugget. I'm skipping the sulfur for right now to grab the extra osmium as I think I have enough to get by. Oh, there's so much here. Oh, I have to come back. Oh, sometimes I flip through the walls, which makes it a little hard to tell where I went. It's over here. So that mix-up might have just cost me another oxygen tank, but look at this ice, it's going to melt too. So that's the second Osmium cave. And so this is the spikes. I head north from there. That should be the aluminum fields. Um, uh, nope, that is the original base. And look at this lake. Okay, so that's a way to get there. Um, is that faster? I don't know. I'll have to check my map.
Yeah, so the lake only fills up that high, so all of this my stuff is safe. That's that's good to know. Already accumulated so much stuff there. Wow. Uh, thought I clicked on the iridium there, but that's fine. Let's let's unload all this osmium I found. Look at that! Now I can build some of those uh, extra drills, no problem. And the aluminum is great because, you know, well, half the time I was just using it for super alloys. Oh, uh, bioplastic nugget. And so it's, you know, thirsty. Uh, we'll ignore that for now. So we gotta place that right next to the other one. Oh, I messed it up low. Eh, it's fine. What's this blueprint? Big living compartment. Okay. And so what was needed for the agility boots? Okay, this one does not have the agility boots. It's this one. Oh, explosive powder super alloy? Oh, I got that. That's... That's easy. I, I'm not so confident why I want explosive powder in my boots, but you know. <laughs> so, agility boots tier two. Yeah, let's take those off. And now I move 45% faster. Grab, grab some delicious water. Let's swap out one of these garbage plants for the special uh, seed there. So see that's 600. This one is a mere 300. It's garbage. This one, 400, I'll accept that. See this one though, 600, ooh. Yeah, so those are all 400, so this is the one I gotta get rid of. It's just awful. It's a shame, but it must be done. Yeah, we'll throw some water in there. I got plenty. Oh, I forgot to ditch the titanium. Roll downhill, I say. Good job. So, actually, it was crossing the lake here that took us to that cave. So, let's try that again. Actually, is there anything over here now that this is filled in? Hmm. Oh. Oh. A gold chest. I miss that. I don't know, but this trip was worth it. And I'm close to the base. And there's a the fourth golden chest and a super alloy. Anything else hidden here? Suspicious rock face, something.
I don't know what to trust now. It's like, hey, you've been exploring this area from the beginning, and it's entirely different now. Is there anything else I missed out on while I was down here? Come on. Reveal your secrets. You just hide like that? I feel betrayed. Um, there we go. I think I was stuck there for a moment. Can I... Nope, nope. Oh! Wait. Uh... Is there a cavern behind here or something? Or is that just the rock geometry I was stuck in? Um... I'll resupply air real quick at my, um... Backup base, cough, cough, you know, right up there where I built the reactor. Yum, 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 yum. Ah, that lovely green glow. Something just seems off. Can I? Oh. Oh. Did I get? Nope. That's just transparent now. I thought I might have got through it. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Am I... Is that in the rocks? I don't even know at this point. Oh, wait. Did I just go... There's rocks, and then I go through them. Jin, are, are you seeing this? Like... Rocks? There's solid rocks in front of me. Never mind. Everything's just all sketchy and glitchy. <laughs> There's resources back here, though. Like, what's going on? There's, there's resources, and I went through the rock wall. Okay, okay, I think I'm back in reality now. That was... interesting.
any other secrets? This was the cave we were exploring. Got filled up our inventory. So if we come out here, this is the other side of where I just went through the rock face, I think. Nope, this one's solid. Maybe it's a one-way thing, I don't know. Oh, nope, that is not solid. Okay, that is something. <laughs> I am glad I brought extra oxygen to check all this out. Like, uh, am I outside the map? That, because this doesn't feel like it should be that way. Nope, that's solid. But it's all glitchy at the top. Like, what's going on? Yeah, that's solid. Wait, I can jump up the mountain? Ooh. That's cool. Um, I'm not sure you're supposed to be up here, but, you know, I'm going with it. Oh, wait, oh, I'm falling. Uh, no, that's solid rock. How do I get out of here? Is this the fake rock I can go through? No. Oh. Uh, nope. My base is over there and I don't know what's real now. Well, this is an interesting dilemma half. I fell through the rocks and, uh... Yeah. Oh, yay. Oh, well, that was a bit of excitement. <laughs> Actually, I think we'll go up here for a uh, quick break. <laughs> so much for showing off the uh, super alloy fields. That was how to glitch through walls uh, 101. Fly at walls, go through them. And so we unlocked drill four, super alloy, and osmium. Heat and pressure is a lot more. Um, 45 energy apiece. Luckily, we are close to an osmium cave here. Um, 
Well, there was one. I said Osmium Cave. Well, I mean, I guess I'll grab a sulfur while I'm at it. Um, well, that was pathetic. Let's see if uh, there's more algae. Or if I have to place that like further out. Nope. Oh. Just like it's one at a time. Okay. Sure. So it was four. So, so even the tier two drill is 17 pressure. The tier four drill, 459. It just enormous difference heat 0.25 from the tier 3 tier 4 is 25 not 2.5 0.25 it's a hundred times more heat So I'll have to build it somewhat sparingly as it uses some rather interesting resources. And, um, oh, no, wait, I have a sulfur spot. And super alloy is both easy and hard to make. It's easy because it's just the six basic materials. It's hard, or more specifically annoying, because it's the six basic materials, which means you need stuff like aluminum. Slightly more oxygen by swapping this out. Doesn't really matter at this point. That's not the main source I get the stuff from anyways. I think I had the algae over here, yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six. With the vast majority of my super alloy gone, let's go over here and wreak havoc. Oh gosh. It's like everything's. Look at the size of that thing. Holy cow. No wonder it's super alloy. It'll destroy the planet. Like, I thought the tier 3 drills were big. Then you look at that thing.
It's so big I can travel under its legs and get away. So now, tier 2 drill, 91 usage. I still have plenty from my three tier 2 power uh, stations. But boy. <laughs> Let's, um... I want to build one more, but what was that? That was pressure. Something that shows it shows the power usage. Did I miss a screen? Mapping sign progress. There's not one that shows the breakdown like biomass. That's because of algae. Um, and then the grass farms is this 1.2. So I added the, I had several of the tier three drills at 17 pressure, but 10,580, most of that comes from two tier four drills, just shy of 500 apiece. But that would mean all the other drills would basically be equal to one of those. And then for heat, I have the tier three heaters that puts out 28 and a half. Um, so we're at 5,000 with a, a few of those, but the drill puts out 25 as well. So a, a tier three drill or tier four drill puts out almost as much heat as a tier three heater. And that's like all it does. A tier three heater uses 17. And so it uses three times, almost three times the energy of a tier three heater, but it does so much more pressure too. So I'm grabbing uh, the super alloy, or I'm making the super alloy, I should say. Um, but I'm gonna have to make it in a few steps. iron, not iridium. Uh, silicon. I need magnesium. So I'm going to have to make another two. Hey, I get to use up some of the titanium. Unfortunately, I'm using up a lot of the other stuff that I... Well, let's be honest, I, I want to because I am doing it, but it's not my favorite uh, using that. So two, two iron, titanium, I need one, two of that, 
and then I need silicon. I think that was everything. So now we got six super alloy and, well, four osmium. We only need three, but we're going to destroy the planet with these things. Solar panels. Ah, uh, we'll box you in. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I wonder. I think the answer to this is no, but is it just dumb enough to work? Okay. That That's good. I can't place that on top of my base. It might be due to size as well, but... Look at that thing. It won't even fit on there. Uh, what's the one for... Now if we go over here, no wait, wasn't it? Fifteen thousand? Anyway, the drills help and the pressure uh, and heat have gone up and that's rising quite rapidly at a pressure of one hundred we get the gas extractor so we can get methane and then ultimately the ore extractor too um, and so we're ten percent of the way there so it's not too far off and the heat's going up nicely as well a little bit slower but with that drill doing as much as a tier 3 heater um, we should have the nuclear fusion generator fairly soon um, we're about 20 times what we have away so twice as much as from the pressure oxygen is the last thing I have. <laughs> I have a lot of things that do oxygen, just not a lot of oxygen. We have the... <coughs> oh! Um, if I go back and get more algae, then we can get the bacterial or bacteria samples created. Once we create two of those, then we can create the uh, Biodome Tier 2, which will give us 1400 oxygen as opposed to what we're currently using is the Algae Generator at 127, which is not bad, but we got the Grass Spreader at 108. Um, Lake water collector. I don't have enough plastic for that. And atmospheric collector seems to be working so far. Um, we did the bio lab.
Well, um, drink some water, make sure to save, and then we'll, I'm gonna try find that, um, spacecraft again with all the stairs. Do I have enough? Uh, we'll craft a bit more oxygen. I was going to go for it, but one more. Okay, we're all stocked up. Moving right from the beginning. Let's go. Seems like it should be a meteor storm the way it's coming around, but I'm not seeing it yet, so we'll just keep going. I like how that popped into existence while I was, you know, passing it already on the right side. But yeah, there's a little wreck in here. You can go and get some stuff from there. Um, I think it was through here. Uranium cave. Oh, I've got to build a. Uh, does a t does a tier one ore extractor even work here? Oh, I gotta try build one though. Oh, there's so much uranium. I love it. This stuff is so hard to find that I send rockets into space to get it to drop down. So that is by the chest after sand. You go through a little crevice. This is where we found the spacecraft. Well, the, the way we went to find the spacecraft crashed. Okay. Yeah, we're trying for an ore extractor now. And I think I can make that on one trip. It's gonna be close. Um, I did grab a bunch of, you know, uranium. So even if I do use an oxygen bottle, totally worth it. Come on, so close, keep going. Go, go, go. Line up with the spacecraft. I think we got this.
Look at that. It's It's so full. I have more uranium than iridium. My osmium is sad though. Um ore extractor. Where is it? Okay. Osmium. Iridium rod. Super alloy. Titanium. Double check. And aluminum. Yep. So now, we can head back. These have been amazing finds today. Two golden chests going out of bounds, or no, three golden chests, I guess, because we found one in the uh, aluminum, uh, yeah. So we head through the aluminum fields here. I mean, feel free to pick up aluminum as you please. Go past the wreck. So then it was over here, just between these pillars, I think it was. So it narrows down, it looks like you can't get through it. And it jogs left, right. And then you go where it looks like it dead ends. And you end up in a cave of wonders. Glowing green. Oh. Because this is very clearly uranium, but it might not work on a tier one. I'm just seeing if it's the placement that's bad. that before um <coughs> Jen you're fine uh, just found the uranium cave for you, so when you need some of that, you know, you go past the aluminum fields. And I also, you know, clipped out of bounds and other fun things. Iridium rods. Um, where was the other place?
Yeah, um... I went through a solid rock face. Um... So this was to the... Uranium caves. Whoop. Uh... There we go. Um... Let me... Why is my mouse jumping around? Come on, game. I need to get more oxygen. Oxygen, not just gin. It, I need oxygen. Get it, game? But yeah, it was at the, by the lake, that I clipped out of bounds, um, through the, the wall, um, So this is where it gets a little strange sometimes. I don't know if it's early access or exactly what's going on, but on stream it hic there's a few hiccups every once in a while. Um, so I am playing on relaxed, but the point is I'm getting to base each time. Critical levels, oh I'm good. Um, I, I know there's not a penalty, but that's also a challenge is I, I haven't died, um, on stream. I try it once off of stream just to see what would happen. And, uh, you know, like you said, you go back to the base, um, and there's really no harm. Um. I still want to try to get that, um, see if the ore extractor works on, uh, super ore, since that's basic resources. But over here, by the lake, I went, um, I think it was here. Well, um, you'll see fairly quickly. Nope. Um, Oh. Nope, that was just me looking through rock. Again, just looking through rock. Where is it? I didn't do it on purpose, so it's a little hard to uh, replicate. But I got to the sand fields on the other side. Whoa. Look at all these resources down here. Such a waste. I think it was above the water. Oh. If I can get a little bit higher, I think I can do it. Yeah. So see? Like, I back up. There's rocks there. Jen, you see in this? Rocks? Rock face?
Now, I'm just going to proceed to walk forward. <laughs> and uh, the sky's a little messed up, but we're ignoring that. And, you know, there's just this giant sandfall. And, and there's the lake, I guess. I guess I'm below the water line. And I can climb up walls now. And I'm back into existence. Jetpacks don't normally climb walls like that, FYI. <laughs> so that's fun. This is this is why I have to post all this stuff to YouTube because um, it is an early access and I, I really do enjoy it. I'm just saying that there's some glitches that are pretty fun too. Um, but I thought there was a, a fake wall or something in there because you could see it doesn't look, it's not like just looking through the rock. There's something... It didn't look quite right. With the rock face here. Well, I guess partially because I went through it, but... And, and I mean, I, I wandered around here and also found a golden chest, so... The game was hiding a lot of stuff. What was that? Come on, jetpack. Oh, I thought that was writing or something. I mean, for all I know, it would be. I, I mean, I found a base with another survivor, so... I won't be too surprised with finding a lot of stuff in this game. Um, but yeah, uh, the base, we found this massive base. Um, the other thing is you say, oh, you're playing relaxed. You don't have to worry about it. That's true, but... Um, if I'm exploring the base and it I die and it takes me back there then I'm still in trouble because um, I have to get all the way back there again so this is where I have to get Osmium now apparently so stock up I guess Does Osmium work with the miner? No. Got it. That also means a super alloy site probably does not work with it. But look at this ice. It's cool. I'm standing on it. Don't get lost in the Osmium Cave again. And don't clip through walls, because that's very disorienting when you do that. Do I move faster running? Feels like it's pretty similar. That's the agility boots, I guess. So this is the area where I was at. This is the uranium mine over here? No. 
Where is it? I think it's the chest. So this is the uranium mine somewhere around here. Or, you know, I just completely disoriented myself and it's fine. Uh, wait, what? Uh, did I go through something again? Um, that does not look right. Um, can I, uh, oh, okay. Um, just flew through the rocks, but you know, that, that's fine. Just very disorienting. Uh, but yet I can't get over here? Really? Okay. So, so I can fly through rocks, but I can't go through the open area there. Got it. I really want to find that wreck again and uh, explore what I can. Yeah, the aluminum fields make it easier because of the color change. Um, oh. Oh, that's the, the space ring. Okay. I mean, we can check that out. That's, you know, not what I meant. But, you know, that, that's fine. So what happens if I build an ore extractor here? It's just iron again. Okay. So when it's not a special site, or, um, so I have not been in here before. So this is at least progress. Ooh, super alloy. That's nice. I uh, really appreciate it, Jen. And I'm so glad you were able to catch one of these. Aluminum. Okay. Oh, it's underwater. I mean, that makes sense. But, you know... Um, I don't want to deconstruct the storage crate. I want to get to it. Oh. Okay, apparently that's close enough. Oh. Super alloy, uranium. I'll leave the iridium rod. Well, I can ditch one of the iron. What else do we have here? Flashlight does not work that great underwater. Go figure. Wow, there's so much to explore here.
Oh, there's a whole cave. With rocket engines? Sorry, your radium rod. There's a tier two heater, or yeah, tier three, tier two. One of the heaters you can deconstruct. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go back and check out more of this. Is this anything? Probably not, that's just part of the ring. Okay. Yeah, so now we'll head back to the base with our hall. It's funny, uh, I could see the spaceship there before the rocks came in. So we'll head over to our newest base. And, uh, you yeah, know, we'll, we'll top up there. And then deposit the stuff for the extractor. Since that didn't work, but I will check this one. Okay, nice. We did get some aluminum. Uh, hydration's low, so we'll take care of that. Got more space now. Uh, Yeah, we'll just come back. Got most of it. Okay, so in a straight line, yeah, jetpack is still faster. But run it, sprinting with the agility boots th tier 3 is really pretty good. I wasn't sure about it to begin with. But yeah, 45% boost versus 30. Ooh, good progress for Moss. Got a good amount of aluminum. Um, then, uh, should we deposit the rocket engine or use it? Because, what's the one that does heat? Uh, well, grab some food real fast. There we go. One beans and I'm good.
because the drills do pressure. Okay, so it's the, uh, well, drills do heat too. And we were low on heat, we can launch that directly. We do have more iridium. Hmm. Let's just go for it. No object launch, it's right there. Up, up, and away. Now we just wait out the storm. And I found out yesterday with the, uh, on YouTube with the real civil engineer that you can actually ride the rockets up. You can't escape the planet, but you can ride it up. Okay, so right by the lake. Not sure on the other ones. In the lake? Okay. Right into the rock face. Is there yum yums down here? Nope. <coughs> no yum yums. So, by the lake, we saw a few crash. Let's go grab those. Ooh. The water won't dilute these. That's just a flavor enhancer. I forgot I had my flashlight on, but I'm glad I did. You don't really need it for the uranium, though. It does help. Mainly when walking around the crevices and stuff underwater. Ah. Is it always just the one? Okay. Time to refresh my oxygen supply and get back out there. What is that? Oh, that's my original base. The lights are still on somehow. <laughs> you know, where you landed and they said, go terraform this. So not a bad haul. 
Um, but not the best when you compare it to just what I got from that uh, uranium cave. I'm not seeing any others around. Huh. Because it looked like they hit the rock wall there. Um, but look at those tier four drills, they're massive. Uh, all of those tier one solar panels and it's the same size. And I converted the uranium to make the space so I didn't have it completely filled. that we didn't use up all of our osmium so that's good I guess still low on cobalt but that's fine so let's see what we have here for it's just water and algae which is what it was growing in lake water but okay we'll do the whole purified water thing to grow bacteria in okay so I got my water So then we need the algae, and then we'll have bacteria, I guess. Does that go in the food box? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> and so then... Once we have another one of those, um, I can do the bio lab. Uh, where was it? Here we go, bio lab. We have enough energy. The bot. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, the biomass. Biomass from that is 11, where previously we the algae collector. It's 0.6. So it's a huge boost. Um, and the original biodome uses uh, 37, but it doesn't even uh, provide biomass. And so for using basically twice as much energy, it gives a huge oxygen boost and 10 times the biomass. Um, <coughs> so I wanted to try and find that ship again um, I'm not so sure that's going to work. Well, I say ship, but it's really the base they were sent. They built a bunch of, um, bunch of, uh, the towers. Maybe 
what we can do is try get the ore extractor and see if that works for the super uh, alloy fields. This one aluminum, titanium. Iridium rod and super alloy. Used up water quick for the bacteria samples. You got more? Yep. Okay. So in that case, what we did was run around here. Past the... Ah! There's the uranium I was looking for. Past the ship here. There was a little thing on the side. Um, no, this is the sulfur fields. Ah, welcome back, Jin. I was trying to find the super alloy field again. So it's fr behind the sulfur fields, there's the big ship. And it was through here. Yep, there's a the water, so that must mean something in here. Is this it? But yeah, I found super alloy just lying on the ground. Um, I mean, I can just build this and see. No, it's just iron. Um. Hmm. Oh, you know the super alloy field I'm talking about? So that's underwater there. And I'm in a cave. So... Where now, Jin? not working it's one of my bases it's the one that's underwater see this wall needs to be deconstructed it's all fake looking Come on, I can't squeeze through that, but yet I've gone through tighter spaces for the uranium mines. But, okay. OK. 
Can't get much higher there. Here is another crashed one you can deconstruct, if I'm not mistaken. No? Well, you can raid it at least. Yes, this is what I was saying, is it's around here. Behind. Ouch. Oh, this place is fun. You can look through the ground. And, you know, there's storage. Yeah, I found that before. That's that's in the previous video, if you want to watch that, where I found one of these bases around the uh, super ore fields. Um, there's another one here as well, underground bases. Um, you know, please feel free to watch the YouTube videos. Like I said, it's all archived up there. is back here not oh wait what interesting um, okay I got stuck there a little bit this is part of why I'm doing this on relaxed is um, not that it's required but it is early access so there are some um, issues with it um, I'm still having a great time I would absolutely recommend it and it's just for the sake of um, the progress I've been able to make that's why I started the first file on relaxed just in case there was any spots uh, such as the camera jumping around That happens more when I'm streaming, but I don't have any slow frames or anything like that. So, a um, little bit puzzled why, but. Yeah, so head back to base. Uh, it's roughly the crash landing site, yes. I need to get up there through through that spot that was not there it, it was so there's the path here this leads to the iridium mines or a cave and the osmium uh, It's to the left. Because see, here is the sand falls. More water. And this should be the 
Osmium? Yes, the Osmium Cave. And so if you had a cross from there. Whoop. Maybe this is why the sensitivity starts out at, uh, you know, three percent. I don't know. Yeah. So then you just race your way through the iridium uh, cave here. Just as your oxygen level goes critical, you make it. Um, yeah, so, uh, just let me stock up on food since I decided to apparently hurt myself with a fall or something along those lines. Yes, yes, it is close. Um, that's why I want to try set up a ore extractor, see if I can get one. <coughs> Let me grab extra oxygen. So the Iridium cave we run under the base there. It's not supported by anything. It's fine. Don't worry about it Mind your own base structural integrity So I race through the iridium cave here we pop out the what? Uh On the Iridium Cave? You said go to the Flatlands. Opposite the Iridium Cave. You said come out of the other side of the Iridium Cave. And you'll have the Flatlands on the right. Okay, Jen. So here's the base on the flat lands. Now where? Yes, exactly. East is the way I was heading. So you head through the cave, but we can go directly east. That's fine. As the crow flies. East. East we go. South, southeast to the aluminum fields. Yeah, there's a little bit of a delay. Um, but south is towards the aluminum fields. East is towards the sand and the big shipwreck. Because, see, this is the rocks that lead to the... Um, uranium and um, aluminum fields. Ooh, bridge. I want to get up there though.
sorry, it's kind of like squirrel. Oh, can't jump that. Oh, you're talking about a different super ore field. I've never been here. Walk along the thin ledge. You say walk, but really I'm flying. But, you know. Is that water down there? Uh, am I stuck? It does seem like after about two or three hours, it's not the happiest, the game's not the happiest. It starts to slow down. Yeah, it's like almost impossible to see and I'm stuck against something. There we go. Uh... Ah, super alloy. Yeah, this is not what I was talking about with it along the ledges. Um, I was talking about literally like a cave where you get... But yeah, I see the super alloy over there. I thought you were talking about like a minefield or a cave or something like that where you could mine it. This is just uh, open space, but it's very useful. Yeah, that's why I was trying to get to the cave. So they're just along the ledges here. Okay. Um, yeah, so let me head back. Yeah, getting from ledge to ledge is, seems a little annoying, but you know. So this is where you're saying the super alloy is when you get to this this area. Okay. Well, um, not entirely sure how I made that, but that works. Ooh, I won't come. I know it's not exactly super rare now, but it's still like, ooh. Super alloy, uranium, aluminum, mushroom seeds. Fabric, yeah, fabric's limited, so let's grab that. Ooh, more fabric. I think I'm going to have to pass up on the aluminum as much as I hate to say that. Oh, and that's how you get on the ledges.
Okay. And then... You grab the super alloy. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I haven't been here before, so... And then you gotta get to the other ledges going around. Oh, jump up there. And you have to do more inventories full. No, 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 it's not full. Um, since I use the aluminum mainly for the super alloys, Um, hmm. can I make that? Yes. The answer to that is yes, I can. Uh, music? Okay, there we go. Just went really quiet for a second there. Not the super alloy I was looking for, but it's the super alloy I got. I'm just dropping the aluminum everywhere. Oh, that's funny. Wow, there is just... Oh gosh, I hate dropping the uranium, being that I just picked it up for that, but the super alloy, there's so much. And I can just in this sense, launch another rocket to get more. Super alloy. And the base is there. So that's the other one. So it's pretty easy to get back to. The alloy hunting is going well. I went and dropped uranium and aluminum to grab more. So, you know, that's how well it went. I mean, look at that. Yeah, I didn't know that was there, so, you know. Oh, display case. That would have been nice. Jetpack tier 3. Ooh. Uh, chug some water. Jetpack tier 3 over here? Ooh. Oh, yes. Um... Yes, they they were on a desk, um, and then I moved my base. That's that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Explosive powder. Osmium already have that. So, I'm going to move so much faster now. Um, yes, yes, I did move the desk. Um, and you can actually attach those to the outside of the place too. Like, it doesn't just have to be there. So, um, like, I'll decommission that. Go out here. Uh, I want my monitor. What, that was the energy one, I think. See? You can just stick it anywhere you want. Preferably not halfway through your wall, but you know. Now 
Now I gotta line it all back up again. Uh, close enough. <laughs> you couldn't put it on the side of your building? What kind of uh, engineer are you? I mean, heck, I have the power supply right up here. All this usable space. Why wouldn't you want your energy readout up here? I can't build another one right now, but you get the point. Yeah, so I'll hold off on building the super alloy then. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I'll hold off on building the super alloy uh, uh, miner or try and mine, but I'm gonna try show you the other place where the super alloy cave was. fabric. I'm getting quite a bit of fabric actually, which is a nice surprise as I seem to always be running out of that. You know, since you can't mine it or anything and it's like, oh, the boots or whatever else, you use, <laughs> use it. <laughs> so, Clean up the iridium. I kept the one aluminum because, you know, I had it for the extractor, um, so I didn't want to lose that. But otherwise, it was like everything else is going. What was it? Titanium. I don't know if the water collector here ever stops really working because it still rains. Um, but yeah, what I was trying to. Wow, that is fast. Jetpack upgrade. So you have the big ship over here, the iridium mine on the left. Um, you go past that. This is where the sulfur fields entrance is, if I'm not mistaken. Jen, you just couldn't stay away, could you? So this might have been where they were. Um, but I don't see them spawning in here. That's why I was checking other area. Oh yeah, super alloy. So just past the fields, there's a spot where you can get more super alloy. It doesn't seem like it's unlimited, but same thing like the osmium field, that cave, it uh, started to dry up. But this is where the water bottles were. So, um, oh. Okay, I'll show you again. Do do do. Whoop. No, I want to go for the daylight camera over here. So I or at least this is one of the spots that had them. So yeah, I, I'm just going back to my base, gonna grab some oxygen real fast, and then I'll show you from the Iridium Caves. So, basically, there's a few ways to do it. Um, now that my oxygen's topped up. 
you can go uh, around the caves, basically pointed at the spaceship here, turn left, and then you see these pillars sticking out in the distance. It's a little hard to see, but as I get closer, it'll be a little more obvious. So on the left, we should have the uh, sulfur fields right there. And if you continue going to the straight, there's these pillars. This is where I said there's a fake wall up here, because there kind of is. You head in here, uh, it's a little tight squeeze, but this is where some super ore is, if I'm not mistaken. Um, or at least I just grabbed one. Um, and there's a chest and some other stuff in here. It's a little confusing, um, but generally has some good stuff. Um, sometimes you can't get out through holes it seems like you should fit through, but you know. And so I was exploring around here to see if there was anything more, and if you go past the caves, that's where you find this wreck. And so if you follow along the wall and continue to go, um, assuming the camera stays with me, there's these rocks. This is where you said, hey, fall down. And if you... That must just be a lighting effect. And this is where that uh, base was, the underground base. It's all along that wall. Basically, if you just travel in a straight line, you'll run into it. Now, you can go around the rocks. I was just showing you the straight line path. So since you didn't know about the super ore cave, I'm not surprised that you didn't know about the other ones. Looks like water's coming in too. But yeah, there's all sorts of nooks and crannies in here to discover. Yes, more water, actually. There's probably going to be a point where I'm like, I need some water, I need some water. And then this is the back of the dunes where um, ultimately it loops around to like the Osmium Caves and everything else, if I'm not mistaken. And I think it's more or less out of bounds, so it's like don't go over here. Because you can see the base loops back around. stuck again. If I die this time, it's not on me. I can't get out. Uh. What? Uh. Kind of? There we go. Well, that was fun. Oxygen levels low? Yeah, I'm well aware. But you see how the base just keeps coming around? Okay. Oh, I'm going through the ground again. Can I come out this side? 
Yay, and I'm back into existence on the other side of the rock wall. Ooh, there's a base here. Oh, this one. Yeah. Okay. That's a different way of getting to that. Sure. So, moral of the story is don't go out of bounds. Um, bad things happen. But if you follow that rock wall all the way around, it leads to a uh, super ore. <laughs> or something like that. I think that's the moral of the story, at least. But yeah, see, we're back at the wreck. That's the super ore cave. That's the sulfur fields that can take you to the osmium uh, cave as well. I've kind of exhausted that. So I'm not really sure how you get more osmium, except I guess wait for the tier 2 drill but then there's this another wreck on this side and this is really interesting it's our ship crashed and you know I tried to survive but this land is too hostile my health is getting low I'm going outside one last time to find some water and I was like I have water but they had food and all sorts of stuff so yeah I got food from them but I couldn't find him to help. But apparently Riley's still around here somewhere, telling me, hey, you should, ooh, is that uranium? It is. That's still around from me launching the rocket, wow. Well, you know what that means. Now that we've got uranium, we've got super alloys, Rocket time! Not even necessarily to gather the uh, ore or anything like that, just, you know, because because we need an iridium rod, sup we got super alloys, we got uranium, we're going to space! double check what it was for the engines. I don't remember. I always use the uh, uranium one, which is cobalt. Oh, I guess I should eat some food too. There we go. Silicon. Super alloy and silicon. So I need four super alloy and a stock pile of silicon. See, we don't have enough here, so I'm going to have to scavenge some. <coughs> and so usually a good spot is to check the, um, the collectors. Although I thought I saw some here, yeah. So that's one. Two. Three, four, five, six. 
six. There we go. And we can even check the uh, aluminum one. No, wait. Uh, I'm disoriented. Where's my base? Shiny, big, glowing green orbs. Okay, it's this way. <laughs> Those stand out at, you, at the nighttime scene, or when it gets darker at least. With all the moons and everything, I'm not sure how much it's night, but you know. And you see those up on top, it's a beacon. You're like, hey, that's where it is. Where is the extractor? There we go. I tried lining it up with the base for, uh, you know, accessibility. There we go, there's some more. Grab some aluminum, because why not? <laughs> it just houses a lot of the resources. I know, yes, you're supposed to empty it out to get more, but it's just a very convenient way of collecting other stuff, too. <laughs> kind of expensive to set up at the beginning, but, you know, it's worth it. And the iridium and uh, aluminum one, I'm not too worried about because the iridium cave still has plenty, it's very easy to gather there, and similar thing for the aluminum fields. If it was in the uranium cave or something like that, then yeah, I'd empty it out so it gathers um, as much uranium as possible, although I can't set that up right now. Ready? Launch! Go, go, go. Can you catch him? Can you catch him? Let me know. Now go, go, go. So that should help with pressure. That gives it a... Um, was it 1000% modifier for the first one? Um, so that's why the pressure is going up much faster. And we're almost at moss level. Meanwhile, you know, a storm's raging on outside, and I'm like, eh, I'm fine. I don't quite, I know there's a storm raging on outside, but why is it so bright in here? Come on. There we go. It's like the, it even makes the interior lighting so much brighter. It's kind of funny. Oh, and if you get a GPS satellite, It'll show where you're oriented. So like this is my base. You can tell by the shape and the reactors here. And so that is actually north-south, which is a little confusing. Um, so if I head south, I run into the aluminum fields. And this is what the GPS map does. So if you go around the... Hey, is that an asteroid strike or meteor strike? Yeah! Interesting. Um, so it's not just like GPS map, it actually shows where they hit. That is cool. I did not know that. Um, 
But you head around here. This is uh, Iridium Cave. And you have the other entrance. You go around. And this is where like the super ore is. And then there was a flash there of some water. That's the thin pool that formed back there. Um, and then you have the wreckage. So you come around and use that kind of as the guide and come back. Rough, something roughly like that. Had to hit the iridium cave, nice. And so, when you come out, this is the um, sulfur fields that connect through to the uh, osmium cave, which then is at the top of the lake. So you go back here, that gets into the osmium cave and connects across. And so then this opens up to the, the back to the desert, so you can kind of see everything. Storm still going on. I just want some algae. Nothing. It says like one hundred percent grown. Oh. Okay. That, like, got knocked loose or something. Um, okay. I'll take the one. But yeah. So, swimming underwater to go to our base. Ah, what a fine base it is. I can craft oxygen underwater, you know, because that, that's cool. And, you know. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, reserve supply here. Um, here's the beacon I was talking about. It's uh, more or less the middle of the lake. So it helps orient it. And this was an oxygen depot. Not anymore. And I think... There was a... No, the lake's filled up to max height. There was something around here. Was it this face? I might be nuts, but I thought there was something you could destroy around here. It's hard to line up with the... I thought there was a wall or something you could interact with around here. That's what I was trying to do before. But I might just be wrong on the location. Oh. Is it this side of the lake? Because see, I'm kind of going through the wall there. But we'll just ignore that fact. Um, there we go. So now I'll get over to my temporary base up there. So we can keep exploring that area. Because there is a secret in there. Oh! 
The hills are getting green now. Look at that. Well, it is the moss face, so, you know. How cool is that? I really shouldn't be surprised by this stuff since this is exactly what I should be doing, but... <coughs> but it is. It's really cool. There's the sand falls back there. It was like one jog in the rock or a little crack or something. They might have taken it out and patched it or something. You know, early access, blah, blah, blah. But like, there's stuff back there. And there was a space. I didn't think... I think you could do it at any point. It didn't have to be flooded, so that's why I'm searching the low areas here. my intention for today, but it seems like it's more of a glitch hunting thing. So. Sometimes that's how it happens. Oh. Is that it? There's a little crack or something like that where you could deconstruct it, if I recall correctly. Where it just looked a little strange. get stuck again hey mastermind welcome in raiders um, I am sub zero I'm a variety streamer and apparently I just clipped through a wall on the game again um, <laughs> uh, no I'm not stuck I just uh, clipped through the wall um, <laughs> theme for today um, but thank you for the raid. Uh, how was your stream? My, my mod might be around here. Um, might not, but either way. Uh, Final Fantasy IX Randomizer, is that uh, what you were still doing there? Yeah, so I just went through a wall there, you know, it's it's fine, don't worry about it. I just have to find the spot to clip back into reality, that's the hard part.
Thanks, Jen. Okay. Um, oh, there's the base. And so if I go straight, I should get back into reality now. And there we go. I am I am back into my own reality. I'm not traveling through ground anymore. All your base are belong to us. Yes, because apparently I'm the only survivor I found. Um, but yeah, welcome in raiders, cyber ghost, and others. Um, sorry for being a bit distracted, but this is a survival game after all. And uh, it's kind of hard to resupply your oxygen when you're, you know, stuck in a wall that it doesn't really want you to be. So I have to get here very quickly. Ah, fresh air. It comes from those nice vents there, I guess. And my default storage locker of, uh, you know, not air. But I can craft things, you know, like oxygen, if I was so inclined. Um, that being said, I am playing this game uh, right now on relaxed difficulty, as they call it. Easy, if, if you will. If you die, you return to the base and you don't lose any of your items. I'm playing it just like it's... Uh, harder difficulty, but um, part of the reason is it is early access and you can get, um, you know, some glitches there. Like, you suddenly lose uh, your connection with reality. But I also got to build these massive drills today. They're the size of my base. And yes, those are nuclear reactors I built on top of my base because, you know, building them inside my base would be unfeasible. But those drills are massive compared to it. And, uh, Mastermind, have you seen uh, the YouTube videos or do you want to see me launch a rocket into space? Okay, that's what I figured. And I need... No, not osmium. I need... Oh. That's enough there. So, what I just did is I made a rocket engine, um, and yes, I have a jetpack. It only lets you fly when you're moving, but you can go up a little ways. It's more like a slow fall pack, really, but it's very fast. So, climb up here, way up high on the base now. go and construct this rocket and you push the big red button sorry I don't have a YouTube command I really should add one but there's the link if you uh, click on the profile picture it'll have it next to it and um, it's also you know linked the other way I don't have the command though um, Sorry about that. So, big red button. Rocket time. And it's up, up, and away. Um, actually, I saw another, um, person 
who was playing this game, they actually built staircases around the launch pad and then proceeded to run up the stairs while the rocket was launching and jump on top of it. Now that was something. Um, needless to say, they actually did pretty good. They were riding the rocket up, 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 and then it disappeared. Um, and they fell back to the ground and got hurt, but you know. Ah, I still have some lovely beans. Um, so launching that particular rocket into space brings down iridium asteroids, or meteorites, um, which is what's happening right now. It also helps with pressure, which is why we're at 60,000 um, nanopascals per second. Um, which is why our atmospheric pressure is uh, 93 millipascals. Because I doubt that would actually be the full MPA megapascals, because it, it adds up quickly. Um, for perspective, um, 101 uh, kilopascals is like atmospheric pressure if I recall correctly I have been streaming for about three hours so I might be wrong there but that would be milla being that the atmosphere is not very strong otherwise it would be you know a thousand or yeah a thousand times stronger than the atmosphere <laughs> and being the fact that that's uh, micro kelvin Right, that's what I was saying. Um, and so it seems to be accurate. Um, <coughs> and to go from nanopascals to have it increase at that rate, it would have to be a small m. Because otherwise it doesn't make sense. Um, you know, because 60,000 nanopascals. Um, anyway, you can see the numbers go up. We have Moss coming in. We're just about to hit the target. Now that we launched, because each rocket you add, it's at a thousand percent boost, but it's cumulative. So it's not like, um, it's a diminishing return. You launch the first one, it's a thousand percent increase, but you already have a, a increase then of a thousand percent speeds up the rate but your base value is still the same. So when you launch another one, it's a thousand percent from that base, but it, it is less effective for each one because you already have that speed multiplier in there. So that's what's adjusting my numbers here um, because otherwise it would be like 15, um, 1500 nanopascals, but because I've launched quite a few rockets, it's increasing it very quickly. And Jin ha saw how slowly this was going up at the beginning, and now we're going to get Moss. Ding! Got the achievement Greenery and Gas Extractor. So now, how do I do the Gas Extractor? Oh, Zeolite. Uh. I have no clue what that is. Um, right, right, it's additive. Um, so it's a multiplier. People think, oh, it's a thousand percent. It's like, yeah, but it's additive. It, it, it definitely helps. Launching more rockets is not bad, but your 20th rocket is far less effective than your uh, first. But launching your 20th, you'll have such a speed increase that it's worth it. And it's fun. Not gonna lie. You know, need some hydration. And uh, now I gotta find some of this uh, zeolite stuff. I don't know where that is. So we're gonna have to go exploring. Um, 
Oh, I also love the combination to grow bacteria sample it is three waters plus three algae and the algae is collected from um, is collected from the lake. Well, Jin, you say I'm far along now, but I have no clue where it is. I just unlocked that uh, technology. Uh, for example, the algae grower took me a while to get to, or, you know, whatever else. Um, yeah, so, it. you say I'm far along, but... What I see, this is what the meteorite brought in. Is all this, or the meteor strikes from that rocket, brought in all that that red or the iridium. Yeah, I have one algae grower too. I just placed it um, two streams ago, I think. This is why everything's on the archive. So if I need to, I can go back and check you know, where a certain cave was, or, you know, whatever. Yes, so, I was at 85% when I finished up yesterday, or not yesterday, um, two days ago, the stream, uh, and that's where I started lakes at a very early stage, and then, um, got to 85%, lakes took me quite a while, um, but to be fair, I was also moving my base and stuff. I wasn't doing as much terraforming as I probably should. Uh, <coughs> I would think so. Um, as I get more pressure and oxygen, I would think it lasts longer, but I'm not sure explicitly if that's the case. It does seem like it is lasting longer, but that could just be my perception that I'm making the planet better and more survivable, or the fact that I can move a lot faster. So with the, I upgraded my jetpack to tier three, and so um, I can cover a lot more ground in the same time, which can make it look like it's lasting longer. Um, yes, I know I'm ignoring the, uh, iridium, but man, I have to say those, those meteors that, meteorites that came down, very useful for all the other material I need to grab. And I upgraded my agility boots, so when I'm not using the jetpack and just running around, it's still much faster. 45% faster speed with these uh, boots on versus baseline. Just want to make sure I wasn't missing anything. Oh, and I have a perfectly full inventory. correct I just want to deposit this stuff thank you yeah yeah mastermind thanks again for the raid for stopping by cyber ghost um, uh, thanks for stopping by as well and I appreciate any time you stay um, and like I said that all of these are post uh, getting posted to YouTube so if you're not able to catch them they're gonna be archived there um, so you can watch those later and if you need some tips and tricks uh, I try and label more or less what I did um, can't be fully descriptive but if that helps oh I need more oxygen then I was gonna go for the exploration 
That's right. Again, cyber. I don't have that yet. It's in. It's it. It's the link is attached. There we go. Sorry, words are hard sometimes. Link is attached, but the command doesn't work. Again, no command does that right now. But you can click on my profile picture and uh, then it'll bring up the link on the right side as I recall. It says YouTube and you, you that has the link to go to my page. So. Mods, we need a link. What are you doing? It was an oversight on mine. I included the link on my page, just not as a command, so. Is that, that looked like a uh, uranium. That, that shouldn't be right. Yeah. What's going on here? Maybe I shouldn't be flying around in this, but, you know. Why are these glowing green? And what's, what's going on? Whoa! That almost hit me. Um, save. Maybe I shouldn't be chasing meteors, but at this point, you know, I'm intrigued. See, I'm underwater, it's fine. Oh, the algae's up there. I don't know why it keeps like floating away. Well, I guess I do know why. It's in a meteor storm. Ooh, ooh, super alloy. I want it, stop going away. Is that a super alloy meteor? Oh, that's fantastic. Jin, there's super alloy meteors. I'm so confused, but I like it. I thought those were uranium ones. They looked funny. But that's super alloy. Ooh. Oh, Jin, look at this. Uh, how am I still mining? Well, okay, whatever. Uh, oh, oh, there's so much super alloy just outside my base. And it's becoming green and you know I almost got hit in the head by a super alloy but it was totally worth it I do need to eat real fast though So, super alloy is a bit unpredictable is what I'm learning in this stream. It's on ledges, it's in a cave, it comes in meteor storms. Any more? So there's iridium. Um, game? You okay there? I'm getting like 2 FPS. Do you need a break?
Okay. Let's try that again. Uh... It was just fine. Um... But I guess that's where we'll be wrapping up today since um, I've got to do a bit of troubleshooting. Um, but yes, Jen, um, thank you for your help with um, the super alloy locations. Um, We also found out that um, that the uh, super alloy caves, various other uh, points, and so um, we will be uh, wrapping up, but copy that message and we'll go over, visit someone else. And thank you. I had a great time, learned quite a bit. Uh, there's so much to this game, you know, even if it is clipping through walls and uh, it's, it's, yes, it's early access. There's some issues with some areas. But there's so much depth for a team of two uh, people working on this. The fact that it works as well as it does really kind of impresses me. And again, it's such a fun game, even with the issues um, such as the frame drop there um, in the menu. You know, here, no problem. 200 FPS. Load up the game. It was fine before, and now it dropped to, you know, two. So, anyways, I will catch you next time, and have a great morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye.